Everyone's heard of the giant carnivore T-Rex and the armoured herbivore Stegosaurus from North America. But, do you know anything about the dinosaurs found beneath our feet? Hello. I'm Professor James Appleby. I'm a paleontologist and I have worked with dinosaurs for many years. Recently, I discovered that many people did not know anything about the dinosaurs found in their home country. So, this is the story all about the dinosaurs found in Britain. The first dinosaur ever discovered was Megalosaurus in 1676, Cornwall, England. And the Megalosaurus, meaning great lizard, was thought to have been four-legged and slow, hence the name. But later discoveries meant that the Megalosaurus was two-legged and agile. It once roamed Europe, prominently southern England, France and Portugal, and being a meat-eater, had sharp claws and a powerful jaw which had long and sharp teeth. This is the tooth of Megalosaurus. It has serrated edges for cutting into the side of its prey. The second dinosaur discovery was Iguanodon by Gideon Mantell in 1822. It was named due to its teeth being shaped like those of an iguana. Initially it was believed to have a giant horn on its nose and look like a giant iguana. Later on, paleontologists realised that the nose spike was in fact a thumb spike. We will talk about this in more detail later on in the programme. Soon after the discovery of Iguanodon, a third dinosaur was found. It was an armoured nodosaur. Hylaeosaurus. Discovered in Tilgate Forest, it, along with the other two dinosaurs, were classed by Richard Owen as Dinosauria. Then, number four, Thecodontosaurus, a prosauropod from Bristol. This gentle herbivore was a relative of the Diplodocus. After that, a biped related to Iguanodon called Hypsilophodon was excavated. It was thought that it climbed trees, using its tail for balance and its clawed hands to scramble up the bark. However, it was then realised that its feet were not adapted to clinging to branches, and instead it ran along the ground. With so many dinosaurs being discovered in Britain, other countries began excavating too. In Belgium, a mass grave of Iguanodon was discovered, whilst in Germany, Plateosaurus, a relative of Thecodontosaurus was found. Meanwhile, in the USA, dinosaurs such as Hadrosaurus and Lalaps, later Dryoptosaurus, were found. And it was in America where the big boom in dinosaurs' discoveries was. Due to this, Britain was forgotten about by most of the public as eyes were drawn away from the meagre Megalosaurus and instead focused on the terrifying Tyrannosaurus rex. However, just because the main interest was not in Britain does not mean that dinosaurs were not being discovered there. There was the Scalidosaurus, an armoured herbivore from the early Jurassic, which was probably an ancestor to the famous monsters, Stegosaurus and Ankylosaurus. Another was the Prochoratosaurus, a form of ty Tyrannosaur. It may not look like it, but its relatives probably evolved into the giant T-Rex. It seems that Britain was a at the heart of the dinosaur ancestry. One dinosaur discovery was that of the Polycanthus, an odd-looking spiky herbivore. It was covered in armour, but that was only found in Britain. This led to a big question. Why did Polycanthus need armour if there were no predators? That is why the search was on to find an early Cretaceous carnivore which a Polycanthus would need to defend itself from. In 1983, amateur fossil collector William Walker was walking his dog when he came across a huge claw and some other bones. He had discovered a new dinosaur, named Baryonyx, moving, meaning hairy claw. However, when more was excavated, a fish was discovered in its stomach. If I compare the tooth of Baryonyx with that of Megalosaurus, you can see that Baryonyx is, is more conical. As you can see, this tooth is very good at getting into prey, but not for tearing. Whilst if I put Megalosaurus's tooth in the same situation, this would happen.
This is because it would grab its prey, a fish, with its teeth and haul it out of the water. It would then dispatch the fish with its heavy claw. The quest to find the ultimate predator of Britain was still on. The predator named Nuvenator was in fact discovered in 1978 before Baronix, but little was known about it. After many years, this giant was eventually revealed. It was closely related to the mighty Allosaurus. The Neovenator was sleek and fast. This dinosaur is probably the most dangerous in Britain and is likely the reason that Polacanthus evolved its armour and the Iguanodon developed a thumb spike. Baryonyx's main weapon was its heavy claw, which would have been an excellent defence against Neovenator. But as you can see, Neovenator also had a large claw, although it was not as dangerous as that of Baryonyx. Neovenator's claw was made more to latch on to prey, whilst Baryonyx's was cutting and slashing. However, Neovenator had the advantage of more lethal teeth in its strong jaw, and it was faster. Here, we see the Baryonyx and the Neovenator in a life or death struggle. <laughs> The poor Baryonyx has been beaten. He is wounded and may not live to fight another day. He is vulnerable to attack, and this is now how Baryonyx became extinct, due to having to fight their enemies when food and water were scarce and the habitat turned dry. Only 700 species of dinosaurs have been found and named supposedly only half of what were once living, and are now buried somewhere beneath our feet. After being around for 165 million years, they became extinct 65 million years ago, and we're still finding their bones today. Here we have only seen a handful of some British dinosaurs, but many more are to be discovered in England. Recently, a crested pterosaur named Colocephalus was discovered on the Isle of Wight by a young boy. So who knows, one day you might discover one yourself. Thank you.